A tradition that has lived through generations. Welcome to WWE. Then, now, forever, together. Oh, baby, let the good times roll. I figured you'd like this goof. You probably laugh at all his jokes, too. I happen to find Happy Corbin extremely entertaining. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kansas City, weighing in at 275 pounds. Corbin. You know, here's a guy who was at rock bottom. He was begging people for money. Then he gets lucky, he strikes it rich, and now he treats everyone like a bunch of idiots. And all it took was one lucky roll of the dice to change Happy Corbin's fortunes. Well, in my opinion, Happy Corbin is one big happy jerk. Spoken like a true loser. Certainly lofty expectations when it comes to this young man. The big question is, can Mansoor handle the pressure? And his opponent from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, weighing in at 175 pounds, Mansoor! There's a lot of buzz surrounding this guy. Yeah, Mansoor reminds me of a young Baron Blade. No, no, no. You guys are thinking of Cole Quinn. And here's a young man with a bright future. The first Saudi Arabian superstar in WWE history, Mansoor. Mansoor has so much athleticism and heart carrying the weight of history on his shoulders. There are few superstars working as hard to hone their craft as this young high flyer. No doubt a superstar who we'll all be hearing a lot more from in the years to come. Well, he's about to get a rude awakening in the form of Happy Corbin. Yeah, the only thing more relentless than Happy Corbin's physicality is that uncomfortable, good attitude he has. The guy just enjoys beating people up. Back suplex! Corbin gets stymied. Mansoor has such a neat time. Corey, how do you account for a superstar like that? There's one thing that Mansoor lacks, and it's experience. He's still very young, so my suggestion would be force him into unfamiliar situations where he's not sure how to react. Super kick! Stop it! Ouch! Makes him pay with a counter! We're gonna lock it in here! It's locked in now! Oh no, this is not where he wants to be! Yeah, but can he roll on his body? Can he roll? Can he roll here and counter this? Fight it! You can feel him desperately trying to find a way, and he does! Fillet your chest. Yeah. Oh, a shot right to the kidney. Oh. And again. Great way to tear down your opponent. Look at him totally vibing with the WWE Universe right now. Right to the back of the neck. Oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Happy Corbin getting a rude awakening of his own. That smile is getting wiped off his face real quick. Yeah, Mansoor is showing his heart. Ah, oh, what a smash! That is just insulting. Quick 
looking for Mansoor. Hammerlock. The first DDT. Down to one knee. What the? What an insecurity. What an athletic maneuver from Monson. Will this be enough? Another look at some of the highlights. Here is your winner, Mansoor. You cannot say they didn't give it their all and then some to achieve this victory. With a win like this, things have got to taste a little bittersweet right about now. Actually, Saxon, I imagine the win tastes a lot more like pennies. Oh, this is going to be good. Yes! Welcome to Swerve's house! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Tacoma, Washington. Weighing in at 201 pounds, Isaiah Swerve Scott. Lots of swagger, but also lots of discipline. Coming from a military family with time spent in the Army Reserves himself. A true student of the game even hosts his own wrestling podcast on the WWE Network. Don't sound so excited, Michael. Don't give anyone a podcast. You are never invited back. And I'm going to have your episode deleted, Saxton. A class is in session. A man who has held countless championships in his career. A truly all-time great of the grappling game. And his opponent from Blackpool, England. Weighing in at 240 pounds. William Regal. I'll tell you, the entire career of William Regal has been predicated on commanding respect whether it's in the ring as a competitor or whether serving as general manager for Monday Night Raw or NXT. And you're right Byron, that William Regal forces his opponents to show him the respect that he believes he deserves. Isaiah Swerve Scott, a fitting nickname for someone with no shortage of confidence and incredible athletic ability. Yeah, Swerve just exudes confidence at all times. Born on arrogance, but it's that attitude that has fueled his rise. Isaiah will have to come out on and a quick pan attempt. Not quite there yet. Not even a two count for him. Not, oh, what a drop kick. Oh, stomping away. a projectile now out of the ring what's his plan here oh man you can see he is feeling it now Golly, that sounded rough oh, jumping DDT My. what can Isaiah Swerve Scott do to turn the tide of this match in his favor Corey Swerve needs to capitalize on his incredible speed. The harder Scott is to keep up with, the easier it'll be for him to create offensive opportunities. Swerve manages to counter. All right, back to it, returning to the ring. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. 
makes it back just in time. That was a good push. And Regal's toughness got tested there. Scott is showing his opponent what Swerve is all about. And the fight has been taken to Regal. Scott's making all the right moves here. Attacking at a speedy pace and creating new offensive opportunities. An arm breaker. This could be it. Cover. He gets the shoulder up in two. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. Oof. Where's the haymaker? proficiency pays dividends once again just a textbook display from mr regal on that one regal has the legs trapped regal stretch applied this means trouble after everything these two men have been through will it end like this will it end with a submission tap out his body might get a oh, great counter got him where he wants him Suplex. Attack from behind. Neck breaker. Does he have it here? Stopping the refs count at two. That's smart. Taking the one to catch your breath. A little thunder roll. What an athletic attack. Isaiah's turning the arena into Swerve's house. Oh, moonsault. Kick lands. Hoist it up. Ooh, a gut buster. That was all sorts of nasty. Will Swerve take advantage? Cover! One, two, three! Finally ends it. And all the bloodshed. Perhaps worth it now. A lot of good action in that one. Here's another look. of this battle plain to see on their face at least they can say they won the match I don't know if I'd say the battle scars were worth it Cole but I will say the one who did it to them isn't the one celebrating right now you limitless why why this nickname and he said to me i'm not bound by the perceptions of others if i can do it if i can dream it it will be accomplished and guys allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your independence day with us congratulations cole I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs>
Look who's here. The Persian Lion. And his opponent from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 190 pounds, Aria Tavari. Tavari brings a no-nonsense style and approach to the cruiserweight division. Shifting gears now, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Ugh, who writes your stuff? Keatley is a competitor who has so far shown limitless potential here in WWE. He's risen every challenge, seized every opportunity, and left an impressive mark on this industry in a relatively short period of time. No doubt he looks to continue his ascent here tonight. Let's talk about Ari. He's got the shoulders down. It's going to take more than that to keep his shoulders down. Maybe a little too early for such an attempt. Oh, God. Producing a trampling. In the power bomb. Stop in the leg. And Davari is being knocked around here. Absolutely. Davari keeps getting cut down at every opportunity. Counter from Davari. And Davari puts a quick stop to the momentum that was bounty against him. Davari isn't allowing that burst of attacks to put an end to him. Corey, if you're Keith Lee in this matchup, how do you use your physical gifts to forge a path to victory? The shortest path to victory is a straight line, so if I'm Keith Lee, I'm looking to steamroll right over my opponent. Overwhelm the opposition with my physical abilities and never let them retaliate. Sent into the corner. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. In full control here. He's absorbed some damage already. Oh my gosh, nowhere to go. Oh, what a strike to the back. Vicious right forearm. Oh, right to the back. Looks like Davari has taken the upper hand. Full focus from Davari. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Keith Lee gets out of the way. Treated to a taste of Lee's limitless power. I can't. Oh, he's got him down. Is this it? One, two. Launches the shoulder up in time. He can't let that discourage him. He's got to keep on the offensive. Keep Lee, look out. deserves another look. Here we go.
results of this battle plain to see on their face. At least they can say they won the match. The reward definitely seems greater than the risk right about now, but we'll see how they feel once they get back to the locker room and hit the showers. The raid has arrived. Ah! Ah! The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 552 pounds. The Viking Raiders have held the NXT and the Raw Tag Team titles, the Viking Raiders. These two have never met a fight they didn't like. Two of the toughest superstars you will find around these parts. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. with the New Day, Saxton. Why else would Big E tuck his tail and run to SmackDown? Oh, stop trying to drive a wedge, Corey. They're just expanding the positivity. from them they will be squaring off with Big E and Xavier Woods these teams have built up great trouble here can he get it fully locked in and the Woods break this one great ring awareness there well that'll do some serious damage and another just non-stop aggression Big E on the receiving end can he score the pin oh baby and a kick out at two at this point in the match that could have Vicious right forearm. Oh, double wrist like it would a knee. Tag. Oh, man, check out this power. Yeah. How strong. What a press. Tag made. Both superstars in the ring. Oh, say hello to two knees. What grace. Float over here. Nice. DDT. Fist has been dropped. In the cover. 
Not even a one count there. An almost instantaneous kick out there. A lot of work left to do. We're going to see it. Good wrench power by. Shot the bullseye. Control on a suplex. Hooked up. Now look at the power side slam. Can he do it here? And he gets the shoulder up before two. Close call, but not enough yet. There's the tag. Face first with a waistlock takedown. The damage he's taking is starting to pile up. Sure, he's pumping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. Big knee, and right between the shoulder blades. Really just laying it in. Look with some agility. Yeah, that's a bell ringer. Tag made. Snap mare down. Full head of steam. <laughs> Flat out power. Wow. A deadlift military press. Holy moly. Slam. He's lost some of his win now. This could do it. Two. He narrowly avoids the count. He's determined to keep this matchup going. Placing them right where they want them into the corner. And he has an answer for Big E. Control on a suplex. He's tagging out. with the WWE Universe right now. Yeah. Great reaction from Ivar. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. He can pin his opponent right here. Wasting no time getting his shoulder up. These men knew this match was going to be hard fought. Tap 
out. Not like this. He's risking permanent damage. And watch this. Letting him free. Had him where he wanted him, but maybe he has something better planned. the match alive. It's not over yet. Charmin suplex. I've got to say, the amount of punishment we've seen in the match would have already ended most superstars. The level of resilience we're seeing is off the charts. Big E has lost any momentum here. Yeah, Big E needs to find that spark. Sit-out slam. Now he's been put on the defensive. Here he goes for the win. It's huge. Oh, look at this. Headbutt. Big E tagged in. Eyeball set up. Oh, Samoa Driver. Is it enough to put Big E away? Cover. One, two. He, no way. No way. No telling how much surviving that will cost. Kicks out of that. Oh, how you can still be standing. Just dished out his most devastating offense. And you got to be wondering if he's thinking one more time will be the charm. I can see up to the rafters, and there's not a single person sitting down. What an environment this is. All eyes are glued on this battle. Left by the turnbuckles. Working over the midsection, attacking those ribs and organs. And double team action on the way. Gut buster. Oh my. And then knee strike. On the mark. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. And here's another quick look at those superstars in action in that tag team battle. Xavier Woods leads the team to victory. Two men with one common goal can be a dangerous thing. They're putting the entire locker room on notice. Saxton, welcome to the ball pit. We're going to get you some extra tokens, sax man, maybe some extra cheese. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Oakland, California, Shotzi. Shotzi looks like she'd be sticky to touch. Well, she was a finalist on WWE Tough Enough back in 2015, but was medically disqualified. Fought hard to earn her way on the independent scene, recovered from that medical condition, and now she is right where she belongs here in WWE.
shifting gears now. I'd like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Ugh, who writes your stuff? Here's the total package of women's wrestling. The Glamazon. And from Buffalo, New York, the Glamazon, Beth Phoenix. You know, Beth Phoenix, one of the most powerful and intimidated women to ever compete in WWE. You're absolutely right. It truly doesn't matter what kind of competitor you fancy yourself. When you lock eyes with the Glamazon, your first thought is retreat. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. Shotzi Blackheart set for competition. A clear focus and determination in this woman's eyes. Oh, absolutely. Shotzi's motto in life is simple. TCB. Take care of business. She brings that mentality to every match, and tonight should be no different. She certainly looks ready to take care of business here. She can end it here. And a shoulder in the air. She still has enough energy for a simple kick out. Bam! Stomp to the leg. Taking a moment to get pumped. Ooh, she had enough of that. Back suplex. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. Uh-oh. Uh, Shotzi caught by the count. Watch out. Each superstar trying to stay a step ahead. Launching. the kidneys. Golly. Despite her size, Shotzi Blackheart is larger than life both in and out of the ring, but how exactly does that factor into this matchup? Shotzi Blackheart will always bring the fight to her opponent, even when it's not the smartest strategy. And here's a cover. She overcomes the pinfall attempt. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Got him hooked. DDT planted him. The advantage is turned toward Shotzi. Shotzi not just taking the fight to her opponent at this point. Shotzi is the fight. Absolutely one-sided. The typically dominant Phoenix found herself in an unfamiliar position there. From the middle rope. Breathtaking hurricane run. Let's take another look at these ladies going toe to toe. Here is your winner, Shotzi. What an emphatic victory, guys. No contest. With a win like this, things have got to taste a little bittersweet right about now. Actually, Saxon, I imagine the win tastes a lot more like pennies. <laughs> Kevin Owens is ready for a fight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Marieville, Quebec, Canada. Weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens. Well, 
Well, if it's deceitful, if it's underhanded, it is in the playbook of Kevin Owens. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> Well, you know, this ominous tune is just a prelude to the toll of man. We await the appearance of the sinister, multi-time NXT champion. A competitor with seemingly no weaknesses, no fears. And here he is, Karrion Cross. the course of his career, Kevin Owens has shown us that he's not the kind of guy who backs down from a fight. Manning, I'd say the more the odds get stacked against Kevin Owens, the more dead set he is on going through with the match. We'll see if that bullish... He thinks he has it! He forces a break before the count of two. Strong kick out, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up. Tough position to be caught in here. It was tossed. She get airline miles for that. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Oh, look at this raining right hands. Just non-stop blows. Attacks being poured on by KO. He just turned this into the KO show. Double leg takedown. Stop! He is revving up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. Oh, kick connects. Kevin Owens is a hard-headed competitor who can be stubborn as a bull inside the ring. Is there any way his opponent can turn that into their advantage here? Well, any superstar's strength can also be their weakness. If it were me in the ring, I'd try this. Can do it! I didn't think this match was close to over. Pun corks a thunderous chunk. Bruising attack to the stomach. Oh. Climbing up to the top now. His eyes are fixated. He's looking to end this. Look out. He's taking a moment to feel the crowd, but he better focus 
fingers on the opposition. Yeah. Oh no, getting into too close to the ropes. Yeah, and the hole is broken. That catches Cross looking. a good time to look at some of the highlights from that last matchup. Of win for him here. And once again, Kevin Owens is on the wrong side of injustice. I don't think that was a certified referee out there. I want to see his license. Owens had it coming. star who at times has carried the women's division on her shoulders. Uh, to that point, Natalia has won more matches than any other woman in WWE history. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. Now the nightmare is real. Rash, bold, and unashamed. Brutality has arrived. And from Adelaide, Australia, Rhea Ripley. The first ever woman to hold the NXT UK Championship has gone on to hold the NXT Women's Championship and the Raw Women's title. And let's not forget the first NXT competitor to ever put their title on the line at WrestleMania. Shifting gears now, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Ugh, who writes your stuff?
One thing that stands out to me about Rhea Ripley is her intense take no prisoners attitude in the ring. Shoulders down, this could be it. She kicks out at one. She just shocked everyone in the ring. She had Natalia's number there. Start counting, Saxton. One, two, three. We could one, be here four. all day. Power. I think you're right. She got her down. Is this it? And she kicks out at two. The end was in sight. already taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy Corey if you're butting heads with Rhea Ripley what's the most important thing to watch out for it's got to be her ultra aggressive streak she's going to come at you hard with everything she's got without stopping however you may be able to turn that to your advantage by luring her into making a mistake in the ring well scouted by Ripley Celebrations yet. <laughs> Up across the shoulders. Down in a sit out spine buster. And the boat struggling a bit to stay afloat there. Ripley's not from the top. She misses the mark. You up. Wants her set up in the corner. She adjusts it and reverses it. Ooh. Oh, look at the knees. One after the other. Sight set on the top rope. From the top. And she goes for the pin. I can't believe the ref didn't get two here. She was looking highly motivated, getting hyped up. Oh! Right to the back. Things not going how she'd like. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. Axel finds the mark. Rhea Ripley in command right now. Natalia needs to find an opening back. With some attitude. Gentlemen, suplex. Rhea Ripley looking for the submission. Look at this power. The prism trap is in. Look at the power of the nightmare. No doubt Ripley just ended this. Well, this isn't going to win the fall, but it's going to do a lot of damage. And for some reason, she lets go of the hole. Could have just been a tease of the potential agony that's yet to come. Two, three, and victory! One and one she picks up here tonight! Now let's take a look back at these ladies in action. away with a big win this win is huge i'm sure they'll be posting about this on social media all week long
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Osaka, Japan, Asuka! Byron, you are definitely not ready for Asuka. Oh, oh, Michael, maybe on a good day. No, not on your best day. But for once, there's no shame in that, Saxton. No one is ready for Asuka. Oh, uh, can I finish my thought? I know you're scared. I get excited when I see Asuka. I'm sorry, Corey. Continue. No, go ahead. No, you go ahead. Maybe you can borrow Asuka's mask, Byron. Anyway, she's a women's Grand Slam champion. Raw women's title, SmackDown women's title, NXT women's title, women's tag team title. Asuka marches to her own drum in life and in the ring. A lethal striker. By the time her opponent knows what hit him, it's too late. Ah, the submission magician, the Queen of Spades. And from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, Shayna Baszler. First ever two-time NXT Women's Champion. And I am not afraid to admit, Shayna Baszler scares the heck out of me. And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. The Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. A superstar who simply loves to break down her opponents, no matter the circumstance. In a cage, in the ring, it's all the same to her. She could pin her opponent right here. One, two, she was close to the end there. She is still fighting, still keeping this going. Seated drop kick connects. Man. I guess that's one way to incite your opponent. And Asuka gets stopped in her tracks. Corey, you've seen Shayna Baszler run rough shot in both NXT and WWE. How exactly do you counter that dominance? For as dominant as Baszler is when she gets cocky, she's prone to mistakes. Confidence is one thing, but thinking you're untouchable is another. And Baszler can slip into the ladder once in a while. So the keys to capitalize if Baszler somehow makes a mistake. Good scoop slam. Cover, cover. Good. And there's the kick out. She still has enough energy for a simple kick out. Look at these kicks and a lot the hair. And dropping a hair too. Oof. Kit finds it. Things taking a turn for her now. What a hit from Oscar. Oscar with a kick downstairs. A dunk! And Basil escapes. Got the leg. Bang and screw. That'll tear your knee up. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Oscar's in control. And she's capitalizing on Shane's mistakes. The Queen of Spades got too cocky and is paying the price here. Dodges the attack just a smidge quicker. Toss. Oh, knee right to the jaw. Good night. Shayna Baszler. Open. Oh, nice job getting the ropes. Really had no choice. Look at this. Oh, striking at win. Look at that!
kick out just before two. Surprised to not even get a two count at this point. Trapping the leg here. And the ropes will break this one up. Well, it looks like she got a new lease on life here, Michael. But can she capitalize? Elbow smack! That's good. Uh-oh, that's the start of and cinched in. Tap out and call it a night. The submission magician in a submission. Can you imagine if Baszler were to tap out? Look at this. She releases the hold. That's a little surprising, no? She's got it. Got her shoulders down. One, two, no. Kick out of two. She just will not go away. with a kick to the midsection and a steam. There's a piercing offense from Asuka. She's showing off that. The Asuka lock is in. Tap out and call it a night. Trouble in trouble. Tap out. She's got to tap out. She's going to get hurt. No one's ready. Asuka did it. What a huge win. deserves another look, folks. She was so committed a nature boy make an entrance this is the true definition of a man who owns the spotlight come on Corey let's do it together Woo! Byron don't you ever do that again in your life and guys allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us congratulations Cole I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match you showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> what a treat from Cobb County, Georgia. From Cobb County, Georgia. Weighing in at 350 pounds. The big. Man. Big Boss Man, you know, had the longest hardcore title reign ever. And you know for a fact, he's not afraid to use that nightstick. He'll make opponents serve hard time. Well, this is an extraordinary sight. Goosebump inducing. The awe inspiring entrance of The Undertaker. Darkness has completely engulfed this entire building. Admit it, Byron, you're scared. A little bit. We are seeing a legend in the flesh. And from Death Valley, 
weighing in at 299 pounds, the Undertaker! You are looking at dominance without equal. Power from another dimension. One of the most prolific strikers in WWE history. A man who knows absolutely no fear. And the thing about The Undertaker is the attitude. The fact that he knows he's an incredible warrior. That he will do anything and everything he needs to, to win. A competitor who has survived the toughest battles WWE has ever witnessed. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. From Stone Mountain, Georgia, weighing in at 249 pounds, Jake the Snake Roberts. There is nothing but pure evil in the eyes of Jake the Snake Roberts. A rare superstar who seeks no adoration, only fear. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> WWE Universe witnessed the arrival of a legend. And from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 230 pounds, Rowdy Rowdy Piper. Hot Rod came here to chew bubblegum and kick butt, and he's all out of bubblegum. Rowdy Roddy Piper. WWE Hall of Famer, one of the all-time greats. Claims he was born, guys, to cause controversy. <laughs> I believe that. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. Japan, 
weighing in at 220 pounds, King Nakamura! The thing about Nakamura is that he's such a cunning veteran. He's been a champion around the world. Those title reigns include NXT and WWE, a list of accolades a mile long. Are you guys ready for Shinsuke in action? Oh, yeah. But don't get lulled into the charisma. You are looking at one of the most dangerous combat artists in sports entertainment. There is no one like him. superstars in NXT history. The self-proclaimed greatest sports entertainer in history. And from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa! Had a tremendous relationship with longtime best friend Johnny Gargano before he decided that championships are more important than friendship. It was then and only then I realized how intelligent Tommaso Ciampa truly is. It's not about friendships, it's about making money and winning titles. Yeah, Ciampa had no problem allowing his selfish desires to rise to the forefront. His selfish desires are what propelled Tommaso Ciampa to the position that he's in today. shifting gears now i'd like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy fourth of july and if you're into fireworks don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive Ugh, who writes your stuff ladies and gentlemen elias Hello, I am Elias. And as the man who holds the power of the wind in his fist, I've got one question for everybody here tonight. Who wants to walk with Elias? Now, I have been all across the world. I've been to Paris, I've been to Italy, all across Europe, South America, South Africa, you name it, Elias has been there and it has brought me here tonight. And it seems everywhere I go, no matter what I do, a universal truth follows me. And I am certain that everyone here knows it. It is that WWE stands for... I said WWE stands for... Well, I gotta tell you, I certainly came prepared with a song tonight, but before I get started, I need you all to do a few things for me. I need you to silence your cell phones, hold your applause, and shut your mouths! I'm waiting for a town that's not such a disgrace. But I see so many stupid people I wanna punch them in the face I'm waiting for a town that's not such a disgrace But I see so many stupid people I wanna punch them in the face
Graves, are you ready to walk with Elias? Negative, Ghost Rider. He's got his own album, Corey. How can you deny what this man is all about? In the ring, bell to bell, absolutely. I've got all the respect in the world for what Elias is capable of. But when he strums his guitar, it makes my ears bleed. I'd actually kind of like to see that. I'm so excited. I can tell. This highly anticipated battle royal has begun a very unpredictable kind of match. Chaos reigns supreme. Even the most seasoned superstar can fall victim to the numbers game or an unexpected elimination. The only possible strategy here is to be prepared for anything. Suplex is bearing elbow for the midsection. Measured knee drop. Carefully powerful contact by Elias. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Oh, foot just stopping down. There's some power behind that punch. Oh, front thrust kick. Strong break. My goodness. Take that. Well, that's something to be Undertaker. Big punch to the line. And hot rod moves. Undertaker looking more here.
move away from claiming a winner in this one. One more move or one more misstep. Either one can do it. Ooh, stiff punch. The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. Followed by a leg drop. Ooh. Looking for elimination here. Thrust kick. Rule series of kick. <laughs> Undertaker. What's the Undertaker got in mind here? And in my, how about we take things a little old school? Yeah, I like it.
Roddy Piper has been eliminated. What impact. What Boss Man can taste a win now. one has to end this. How in the world do these superstars have anything left at this point? The arena's thinking the same thing. All eyes are focused on this moment. And the final elimination. This one's over. That had to be one of the matches of the year. Let's take another look at some of the action. Superstar survived against enormous odds in this elimination match. Oh, yeah, you have to believe this win is going to stick with them for a long time. Surviving against all these other superstars and standing tall here and now.